Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. In this video, we will explain more about who is Satan and who is Allah. And we will show you in a very clear, easy way that Satan and Allah is one. Even if the Quran look like he is attacking Satan, but the fact, you know, Satan, he will never say to you, oh, uh, this book is made by me and I am Satan. He have to make the story look good. But you don't need to be really so smart to find out that Satan and Allah is one and we can prove that to you easy from their own reference from their Quran in chapter 7 verse 186 the Quran says the following whomever God sent astray and by the way the word sent astray is not accurate because in here the word in Arabic is yudallil yudallil which means mislead continues misleading deceiving not sent astray but the Muslims they try to make it nicer and the proof of that you will see the Muslims when they wanted to make it the same word same exact word you can you can remember how it's written the same exact word when they want they translate it as mislead and they, when they want they translate it as sent astray but no problem we will found from their books somebody saying the truth by mistake let us see whoever, whoever God sent astray ha he has no guide so the first action is Allah sending you astray the second action there is no guidance you do not need the guide if you are guide already right you will need the guide after Allah he send you astray so who is the one who would deceive you first to be astray Allah as you see whoever whomever God send astray the word God in here is not accurate because in here it says Allah not God you know, Muslims are not honest in translation. They should say, whomever Allah sent astray, he has no guide. So, he is the one who sent you astray, and then he say to you, I, you have no guide from me, that's it. And then he continue, saying, he has no guide, and he leaves them. He leave who? Those he sent astray. He will leave them in their deceive. He will leave them in their misjudgment. He will leave them in their in their blindness. This is Tafsir Al-Jalalain. Let us show you more explanations so nobody will say, you know what, he is picking up in some uh, 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 Islamic scholars because they agree with him. And we will see. This is Ibn Abbas. He is saying, those whom Allah sent as tracing, you see now in here, the, the translation is more accurate whom Allah sends astray from his religion there is no guide for them uh oh so who is the one who make you Christian by sending you astray from his religion it's Allah it is not you it's not your choice it is Allah who send you astray because according to Muslims everyone is sent astray is sent by Allah as you see and then he's saying to us that Anyone I send astray, I misguide, this is the correct translation, anyone I deceive from my religion, and by the way uh, guys, let us remember again how funny the Quran is, the Quran supposed in here the one is talking is Allah, but Allah keeps saying, anyone, Allah, he, he misguide him, why, what do you mean from his religion, if the one is talking there is Allah, why he say from his religion? religion isn't it you Allah he should say from my religion this is a very clear proof it's all over the Quran that the one who wrote the Quran who created the Quran who made up this book it's not the one is supposedly talking it's not Allah it is someone making a book and he forgot to change always always he's talking about about Allah but he's not talking as Allah is talking which is very wrong because supposedly the Quran is sent by Allah and the one is talking there is Allah himself speaking about himself so what the need of saying him saying his or he it doesn't make sense then we continue in here Allah saying there is no guide for them guide for who for those who Allah sent them astray so Allah he have to deceive you first then he will say to you there is no guidance for you no more because you know you you have to make me sick to say to me I will not give you recovery right if I am not sick there is no need for your recovery anyway 
So Allah is the one who made them sick. Allah is the one who made them infidels. Allah is the one who made them not to believe in his religion. Allah is the one who deceived them to give it the accurate uh, 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 words. And then he will say to them, okay, I deceived you, but I'm not going to guide you. Guide you to what? To his religion. So Allah, he is the one who is going to leave them in their blindness and in their error. Why Allah don't want the wrong ones to see the errors? Why Allah insists to keep you in your error? You guys, in disbelief and error, it means those people are good people. Because if I have errors, it means I am wrong, but doesn't mean I am bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, if somebody, he is not a Christian, he don't believe in Jesus. But not because he's bad, simply, you know, because he's wrong. That person, why the God, he don't want him to show him the error? Why he don't want to show him that he's wrong? Why he don't want to save him? This is Satan. Satan, he want to keep you in the error. Please stay there in your error, because this is the way for you to go to hell. So Allah, He is the one who planned for you from the beginning to misguide you, to deceive you. And He is the one. He make you believe in different religion by staying away from His religion. And He is the one who made a decision that there is no guidance for you. And He is the one who loves to make you stay in your error. So who is Allah? Simply is Satan. This is Ibn Kathir, as you see in the front of you, chapter 7. And in Ibn Kathir, we will see the following verse. He whom Allah guide will never be mislead, and he whom Allah or he misguide will never have one who will guide him. You will never have anyone to guide you if Allah misguide you. Do you see the word misguide you? You see it? He whom he misguide, he who? Who is the one he misguide? Allah. They are talking about Allah. He whom Allah guides, he will never be mislead. And he whom he misguide, he will never have one will guide him. So Allah do two jobs. He is the one who guide you. He is the one who misguide you. Then what is the job of Satan? Where is Satan? What, what, what Satan is doing? He's having a shower in Jamaica. It is Allah who misguide. And here guys, you will see Allah saying that if I misguide you, no guidance for you. So Allah is more evil from Satan. Because if Satan misguide me, maybe a prophet of God, he can guide me. Maybe a book of God can guide me. But if Allah misguide me, no one can guide me. So who is more satanic? You know, Allah is satanic more than Satan. Because his misguidedness is a lot more powerful from Satan. That's what he's saying. There is no guide for you. And here, ask yourself, what the word misguide mean? The killer, he is misguided, misguided or he is in the right path. He is in the, he's misguided. Who is the one who is making him misguided according to this? Allah. Why Allah he don't want to make the killer or the rapist or the child molester or the thief to see that he's wrong. Why he misguide him to be a thief, misguide him to be a killer, mis misguide him to be a child molester, and he don't want him to see that this is wrong. Why Allah creating a society of criminals, and he don't want them to see the truth. This is a proof who is Allah. Allah is Satan. And no one can guide you. Don't try. It is decision by, made by Allah. It is not even the fault of those criminals. It is Allah who misguided them and He wanted them to stay in their errors, as we showed you in the previous verses. But in here, I like what Ibn Kathir, he said, at least he is more honest, the one who translates those lines, he was more honest in, in most of the book, because he said, Allah misguides. Very clear. It is Allah who misguides. So, if Allah is the one who misguides, and He misguides you to do bad, misguide you to be evil, misguide you to be harmful, misguide you to be an animal, misguide you to be a criminal. Why Allah enjoying such a thing? What is the benefit for him to see people are misguided 
unless he is satanic more than Satan. Follow with me, Christ is Lord and Allah, the God of Islam is Satan and me.